He's been charged with oh. lying, hasn't he? Yes. With, with falsifying, uh, with the big bus with the figure outside that was something like 300 20 billion pounds a week goes to Europe or something like that. So we'll have to be careful, they'll cut this out, and I don't want anyone to spoil the fun of thinking Boris is, is going to go to jail for life. We... <laughs> uh... <laughs> so, at the moment, we're just at the preliminary hearing stage... Oh, right, OK. ..about whether, when he was a public official, he was um, telling lies and, therefore, abusing his office. It should be an interesting trial. I mean, very similar to putting the Pope on trial and saying, are you a Catholic? Um... <laughs> He was sacked from the then sacked from the sacked by his own reprimanded Ian, yes. we're not allowed to say anything that might prejudice the case. Well, that's absolutely fair enough, because I would like him to have a fair trial with a desirable result of him being in prison forever. <laughs> without wishing to prejudice the outcome of the case. No, because we mustn't do that. I'm not saying he's guilty. <laughs> Would you like to see Boris Johnson? Let's deal with your arguments. One of them is on the side of this bus. We sent 350 yes. million to Europe. We don't, and we you do. know we don't. No, we don't. We do. You know we, we do. don't. No, no. Admit we that that figure no. is grotesquely misleading no. at best. I won't, I won't, I won't. The true figure is 161 million, correct? Uh, no, the true figure is 350 million In pounds. net terms, the, true, the real figure is 161. If you take out the abatement and the, okay. and the money that comes back, the UK money that comes back via Brussels, okay. the figure is obviously you... lower. <laughs> Matt Lucas is so good. <laughs>